Okay, down here. Well, we're looking at my uh, Culture Marble Backsplash that I sprayed with gel coat. It's been another day. Yesterday, I don't even know if I came out, so I guess this would be another two days. It's beginning to seem more dry. And uh, now that I can think the video will be a little better than the last one, the sun's not shining right on it. But uh, right in there, it still feels a little tacky where it's thick for me. You know, when you want to try to hit the edges, it's kind of hard to keep from getting it too thick right there. But it's not super noticeable. Um, I already tried sanding on the uh, my sample back there and made a it didn't work very well. Well, it was still kind of sticky at the time too after drying for. Still don't know for sure if it was a week or two weeks. I wasn't feeling good during that time, so I don't know how long it was. But um, I don't know how hard it's going to get. I think it's going to end up being hard like it should be. Right now I can tell it's not, so I'm not going to stick my finger in it. I can tell by how just that my finger kind of drags across it. It's not slick as it would be if it was completely dry. But it's not making any fingerprints anymore, and it was before. You could if you pressed your finger into it. So, it's going to dry. And even if it doesn't get as hard as it's absolutely supposed to, it'll be, I think it'll be fine. And a little bit of texture that it's got actually kind of looks nice. I don't mind it. There's one little spot there that I didn't dare touch. So, I've seen that many times in finishes of all kinds, you know, left behind. I, it bugs me and I want to send it out and it will be up in the area that shows. But what happened when I and I'll, I may test sanding again on this after it dries. <coughs> this one is real textured looking because I brushed it first and then sprayed it. I was using it as my test bed, you know. It's kind of stuck to. The, oh, it's not stuck anymore. I'm good. Yeah, I got that edge too. Okay, there was a spot in there you could see like a big old scratch or something. Anyway, when I sanded it with 500. Uh, 400 black sandpaper, wet, wet sandpaper. It got black on it and it wouldn't come off for nothing. I didn't want to go start with like, you know, 150 or 220 because then I had just more scratches to get out. So I did that, but it just made a mess. And uh, I, uh, <coughs> this is my spray booth that I made out of a cardboard box. I showed it a bunch of times, but, uh, and what it is is this Seahawk gel coat that was the brand I ended up buying because they had the exact same chemicals that are supposed to be the best it's uh where's it on there somewhere NGP I thought it was right there on the front yeah ISO NGP series that uh it's isopropylene or some long word uh, and then you have to use the the hardener Got to mix that exactly right. It's like three, three point three cc's for uh, eight ounces. That's what it was on a hot day. It's different on the temperature, and I sprayed it with this. I don't have the pot on it still, but uh, I sprayed it with this. It's an old uh, Craftsman. Put a water filter on it that before I bought, I bought some water filters, a couple of little that like a dollar it. That uh, I never used, I never had any to use before, but I got some at Harbor Freight when I was ordering some other stuff. So uh, first time I sprayed the, the the draw pipe was facing backwards, and I had taken it apart and cleaned it and put it where I thought it should be. Never used it for another year probably, and then it wouldn't. Uh, when you lean like that, it wouldn't pick anything up because I didn't have that much in there, and didn't wanna, you don't want to mix more than a quart. And I didn't think I'd use more than eight ounces, and I didn't. That was I had some left. So you know, when you went like that, I mean, when you went like this to spray, then uh, it wouldn't pick anything up. So I'd have to do like that, get some in there, and then do that. It, and it didn't work so well. You know, it would splatter more. So uh, because she was having to go like that to get some out, get it in the tube. 
So, I figured out with this one to do that. And it, and it sprayed really well. I didn't have any more of those problems. And it's just a plastic. We've not, it's not a metal. It's old from the maybe 80s. Because if it was in the 70s, I think it would be uh, metal. But it's, uh, I guess it's drained and cleaned now. So, you got to clean that stuff quick. I clean it with, uh, or you'll ruin your, your spray gun. Acetone is what you got to use. You gotta, I've, I got styrene resin thinner. Um, the Seahawk website tells you, you use, only use their thinner, but I did a bunch of research, and it's it's forty four dollars, and this stuff costs twenty seven dollars and something, twenty eight dollars. That was cheaper, the cheapest one I found. Uh, ordered that one on Amazon. I ordered that thinner at a boat supply place. Another, actually, this came from iBoats, I believe it was, through Amazon, and the other one they had this too, same brand. Uh, that I hadn't didn't even notice this brand of uh, gel coat. They have a, their own brand of gel coat, but uh, anyway, this was twenty three dollars straight to the company that uh, this other. I can't. I never can remember that one. I remember that I boat because I actually remember it because they did such lousy packing. They had this. Um, I made a video of it. They had this taped on the side like that. And then they just threw it in one of those padded bubble wrap UPS shipping bags and then threw it in the box. It bounced around the box and squished a bunch of that out into the bag. So it was only about, there's about a third of it gone of that hardener when I got it. Still haven't went and wrote a review about that. I was going to put that video up there too because I, I, I just happened to have a feeling. I think I'll make a video when I open this box. But, uh,. That's all I had was a long that piece of pipe fairly long to put that on that would make that go on there, right? But it actually made it balance well. I liked it. So it's going to stay that way. I think I'll put that back together here in a little bit. And uh, but my yeah, I can lift that up now. I was thinking about just well, if, well, if I lay it down, if there is any wetness in the. The very bottom edge is not doesn't matter at all. It won't even be showing because there's actually a, a roll backsplash on the sink, about four inches high. It'll cover the bottom portion of that. And again, I've said before in the other videos, the reason I'm even doing that is because I messed up when I made my new vanity, and I made it too deep, seven about seven inches too deep. So with that behind the sink, then it it makes it uh, get an overhang in the front instead of being flush. So uh, you check my measurements on how many times I still screwed up. My old brain just don't work good anymore. See my little leaning box? That was a cardboard box. I folded up to a triangle. Maybe, I, I didn't didn't know how I was going to do all that until it just hit me that day. I thought about see I've got shower curtain out down there to cover up my bench so I didn't get paint all over it. And there's cardboard on it. But uh, I was thinking I was going to maybe hang shower curtains up here, you know, from the door rails and stuff, but. That was going to be a lot of time and work, and so then all of a sudden I, hey, I always have boxes around because we order a lot of junk. There's another one. It needs to be, and we're always having to throw them away because we don't have room to keep anymore. We keep some good ones. Always ordering up a lot of stuff, pack toilet paper and junk from Walmart. So uh, anyway, it worked. My, my spray booth worked pretty well. It did not, and with along with the fan here. It's still going for all these days to help that dry and get that smell out of here too. But it didn't get didn't get overspray on my computers or any of that stuff. Your old old computers, but you don't want crap all over. You know? I just have them out here for when I'm in the garage working on the truck or whatever. Sometimes I even work on that old van. My van's supposed to be my project, but I haven't been able to work on it much. Okay, um, so that's it. Yeah, I was thinking I'd lay them down, but no, I'm not because I want the air going all the way around to all edges because I know there's going to be some, it doesn't feel wet, but I want it to be able to cure every inch of it. I think it's going to. It may take a week or two, I don't know. It doesn't really matter. I mean, I'd like to get it done, but but I would like to sand that out. That's a little ruffledy there. You, you, Time you get it installed, it wouldn't really show up. I'm not aiming where my fingers are, am I? But uh, I don't know if I can show that. 
it's actually kind of smooth, but it's ruffled because it's pretty thick. Ruffled is not a very good word, but anyway, it's just too thick. And whatever the heck caused that, I don't know. Something must have hit it. I didn't see it till it was already a white speck. But something must have flew in on it from outside, and then I sprayed over it before I even saw it. But I expected it, you know, I was hoping it would be smooth like the, you know, the sinks are, but they're sprayed into a mold, and then, a smooth mold, and then pour the uh, culture marble in. I watched how they did it on videos, and then uh, pulled out, and it comes out really smooth. But uh, this stuff, I'll tell you what, it's not paint, and it don't spray like paint. And, uh, and I'm not a real patient painter anyway. I tend to want to cover quick and make runs anyway. So I think I did pretty good considering how hard it was. But uh, definitely all the advice is say don't try to brush it and they're right. Because it's just too It's just some of the hardest stuff you'll ever see. That one's even more ruffledy than the other side, I just realized. But anyway, sanding is so hard. Uh, I didn't get anything off when I tried to sand that one. Plus, I just made a black mess on it. I ended up using that thinner to wipe, try to wipe the black mess. And I started with a paper towel, and it, it came off and embedded itself in there, and I couldn't get it out. And then I used a sock, got most of it off. And then I just had to set it aside and let it dry, and then I sanded it with 220. And I thought, well, once it dries, I'll spray it again, so I'll have something to practice. See if it dries hard. Uh, the first batch I mixed... I think I doubled up on the uh, hardener by accident because I couldn't see it's clear and I couldn't see it in the syringe. I was using the syringe, which was a good way to do it. But uh, and I was using a magnifying glass. But so luckily, the last spray I did though did two coats on this one. So that one has a this one has a brush coat, very thick, and then two spray coats. This one has two spray coats. Second spray coat. First time I wasn't 100% sure if I got any. Because <laughs> when you squirt it to drop it in there, you can't drop it in the. So I would pour it in here, four ounces at a time, and then pour it in here. That's still got stuff in it. I want to see if it's dried out. I forgot about that. I'm going to get it all over me. And oh, crap. There. See what it does after a few days. It's not dry, and, and that's the uh, thinner. It's actually not dry, I can't believe that. I figured it would dry up hard. I think it's beginning to, though. So, um, so, if it's closed up somewhat, then there's my, uh, my, one of my socks that I was using. Yeah, now I got it on my fingers. <clears throat> but anyway, this hardener is um, so clear. When you drop it in, you know, in, in, in that, when I dropped it in that, I couldn't see a blot or plop, you know. And I wasn't making a video then because I, I needed to get it right. I couldn't just do all that at once. So, uh, and I didn't want to set my, I thought I might set a camera up out here on my truck hood or something, you know, like that, name this way, but... Uh, I didn't want to. Get, I knew spray would get on it, and I didn't want spray on my camera. So uh, anyway, yeah, I did a bunch of reading and, and just just as, and and bunch of video watching. And it's not. It's mostly all you'll see is about boats, not about culture marble, but it's the same uh, process. But uh, Anyway, if you really wanted to get it smooth, you'd do some weeks worth of sanding, I think, and then polishing on top of that. But you can't, if, if it doesn't get hard enough, you better not touch it with sandpaper. Well, I guess if it doesn't get hard enough that you can even use it, then you, you, you're, you're, you're out of luck anyway. But it's going to be, uh, as long as it, I think it will. I'm beginning to feel like it's going to dry enough that I can put it in the bathroom and it'll be all right. Of course, it won't be getting hit and banged just up on the wall. It's not like it won't get as much wear and tear as the sink, but it will be damp all the time with the shower in there and everything. So it's done, and uh, that's my first try at uh, at uh, spraying gel coat on culture marble. Well, see you later. Bye.